Hi, I'm Jim Duffy. I'm the content manager for Temple University Ambler. Now, what's a content manager? A content manager actually is a storyteller. I tell the stories of the campus and the people that come to this campus, like the students and the faculty members and our staff and all the great things that happen at Temple Ambler and the Ambler Arboretum and the Temple Ambler Field Station. So that's part of the reason I love books and part of the reason I became a writer is because of my love of books. And I can kind of trace that back to my dad. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my dad. When I was a kid, in his spare time, my dad was an actor. He loved the stage and he loved performing. So whenever he read me a book, he was performing. He was a one man play and I was the audience. And the book that I truly loved that he read me was Dr. Seuss's sleep book. And he would, it was almost like reading a Shakespearean play. He would affect an accent and he would talk about moose juice and goose juice and all the other zany things in that book. And that was the spark. That was the thing that ignited my love of reading. And it just continued from there. I had a fourth grade teacher named Mrs. Dorfman. I have to give a shout out to Mrs. Dorfman. Mrs. Dorfman loved, loved, loved to share stories with us. She read us books all the time. Stuart Little, How to Eat Fried Worms, Fudgy. But the one that I remember most is Tales of the Fourth Grade Nothing. Probably because at the time I was a fourth grade nothing. And more than just reading the books, I think what I recognized even then was her passion for those books and her love of reading and sharing that. And I got part of that and that continued with me. Now I'm going to circle back for a second and I'm going to go back to Dr. Seuss and I've got a little show and tell. You probably know this one. This is Green Eggs and Ham. Now this particular book is special to me for a very different reason. I happen to meet Mrs. Duffy, my wife Cheryl Duffy, at Rainbow Academy because I was invited to read to her kindergarten class. The book I read was Green Eggs and Ham. And this particular copy that I showed you is one that she gave me. So reading again created an invaluable connection. And the same with my dad. It was these little moments in time that I'll always have to cher uh, cherish through reading. Now I gotta talk about my mom, Arlene T. Duffy. She was a wonderful woman, a voracious reader, and one thing that she particularly liked was fantasy books and movies and TV. And she introduced me to the Chronicles of Narnia with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is the one that did it. This is the one that told me and proved to me that with books you could go anywhere. You could do anything, you could be anyone. That led me to Tolkien, that led me to so many different adventures. And I can't thank her enough for that because it opened up so many different worlds for me. And just the idea of words being able to create pictures in your head. Now, I'm gonna talk about my wife again a little bit. One of the perks of being married to a kindergarten director is you find out about children's books even when you're an adult like me and I'm going to share a couple with you one of them is I Wish You More by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld I Wish You More is a beautiful little book and the premise is basically wishing everyone their best life and don't you want that for everybody? You want everybody to have their best life. And this is the book that shares that. Another one is All Because You Matter, which is written by Tammy Charles and illustrated by Brian Collier. This is a book about the fact that everything is made out of matter and everybody matters. And that's a really essential topic and an essential lesson today and every day, everybody matters. So being a storyteller, I realized that stories are essential. 
stories can take you anywhere. You can go on any adventure. All you have to do is turn the page. So for this Read Across America, where do you want to go? Thank you.